important matter. Mr. Speaker, I just want to generalize my comments because there's an observation I have made. Many of our leaders want to destroy institutions who have a responsibility of making sure that our country runs properly. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Moses Kuria is somebody I've been in Parliament with for many years, including yourself. To a large extent, we have found him extremely intelligent and somebody who made sense. To some extent, he makes himself look such a foolish man, you wonder whether he even ever stepped into a parliamentary house. And yet, sometimes Moses doesn't understand that what he says means a lot to Kenyans. And indeed, our words have consequences. I would really want to plead with him and many other leaders to realize that these houses, the National Assembly and the Senate, are not just talking shops. This is a place where we discuss national policy. This is a place where we influence public opinion. And this is a place where it is assumed that we'll be providing direction on where our country is going. I really would like, Mr. Speaker, to plead with anybody who knows Moses like I do and many others, we talk to him and tell him that he has to up his game. At this rate, all of us are going to become his enemy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, Honorable Senators, we've done three Senators each from each side. Now, Honorable Senators, this cannot be a house of lamentations. This is a house of action. Pursuant to the point of order that has been raised by the majority leader, I implore upon you, honorable senators, to use or to take full advantage of the standing orders to bring sanity 